Is that angle now? Pichy pichy on the mere chalu venda ai. Pichy pichy on the mere chalu venda ai. Chir wale avik daai ve. Mera long watcha iga mar daai ve. Mera long watcha. We start our Diwali preparation around two weeks before Diwali. Welcome back to our channel. This vlog and the next one are going to be all about our Diwali celebration in Hong Kong. I usually start my Diwali preparation by doing the shopping first, so that the more close we are to Diwali, the more time I can spend at home. This time I started with IKEA, with a few household items that I needed. to serve my guests this Diwali. When I bought this, I was not so sure what I'm going to do with it. I just bought it. You can see how I served my cupcakes on this later. I bought this candle from IKEA because the shape of this container looked a lot like our Indian kulhar. I'm going to do some painting on it so that it looks more like Diwali. I took these out from an old fairy light which is not working anymore but these covers were in absolutely good shape so I didn't want to throw them I'm going to paint it so that it looks like new and then I'm going to put it in a new fairy light and we will hang it out in the balcony I'm going to paint half of them yellow and half of them red and we are going to make a combination of both of them I have a new fairy light which did not come with any shade So I'm going to use this on this new one. When I have guests coming I usually start the preparation 2 days before especially marinating all the non-veg food be it vegetarian food on the day of Diwali because I do Lakshmi Puja in the evening but rest of the days we do eat non-veg we are Bengali and our love for non-vegetarian food is well known to all I cooked quite a few things in Diwali but I could shoot only some of it You know how it is when you are cooking a lot of things together the kitchen becomes so messy and being a new vlogger I can hardly remember to make sure that the camera is on right angle and sometimes I don't even remember to switch it on I'm making some egg devil actually it is not egg devil it is bengali dimer devil chop for starters making this dry roasted powder there is some boiled mashed potato with which I'm making the stuffing that are eggs boiled whenever i make this powder i make it a little extra so that i can use half of it and store rest of it I do have a helper to help me with cooking and other household things because I work full time. She is from Philippines. She is extremely good in all the work she does. But I love to cook myself also, especially when there is some festival around. I 
the stuffing for devil chop is getting ready. On the sides, I am also preparing the stuffing for shami kebab. I am making two starters for the dinner. One is devil chop and one is shami kebab. For shami kebab, we need some boneless chicken and some chana dal boiled together. Make sure to not use minced chicken, otherwise you won't get the texture that you need for shami kebab. While my chicken and chana dal is boiling, I am going to prepare a mixture here with onion, garlic, ginger, green chilli, coriander, mint and you can add some whole garam masala spices as well in the same mixture. This I am going to chop in a chopper. This chopper, it finely chops it. It is almost like a paste but really not a paste. So something in between paste and finely chopped. That gives you the right texture of shami kebab. preparing the main course which is Bangali mutton kosher. The mutton we get from some vendor who delivers to us here. Getting good quality mutton in Hong Kong is a challenge. This mutton is a frozen one which is easier to cook and I can cook without a pressure cooker as well. Just that it takes a little longer. There is a very famous dish in Kolkata called Golbadi Kosha Mangshu. The speciality of that mangshu is how long it takes to get cooked and also the dark color that it has. For me, I usually add some tea in the mutton to get the black color. I usually do the same with chole as well. But for the even darker color, some people use caramelized sugar in mustard oil. I'm not doing that today also because I have a little less time in hand. Adding tea is the quickest way to get some dark color. When it is almost cooked, I add the potatoes which were already cooked before back in the curry. Without potato, it won't be a Bengali mutton. I'm also making a Diwali sweet here. For desserts, I'm going to make Mishti Doi and Rasugulla. But because the occasion is Diwali, I'm making a Diwali sweet also, which I make every year, multiple times. This is the quickest recipe that I know. It only needs three ingredients. You need some desiccated coconut, the dry coconut powder, some condensed milk, ghee. That's all. You can optionally add some elachi powder, you can add some dry fruits, and you can add some food colors for decoration. But all these are optional. I'm just going to lightly roast the coconut powder in ghee and then I will add condensed milk in it. If it is too dry, you can add some regular milk as well, as needed.
Once it is almost cooked and well mixed, I'm going to add some food color in it. I'm using the red food color which does not turn it into complete red but gives a pinkish shade which I quite like. In the same mixture you can add some rose water as well if you want rose flavor or any other flavor that you like. Once it is mixed well together, I am going to take it out in a plate and give it a shape of laddu or narkel nadu as we call it in Bengali. In Bangali Narkil Nadu, we don't do this step, but when we are making this Diwali sweet, we roll it in this dry coconut powder, which gives it a special look. Optionally, you can add some dry fruits on top. I'm using raisin here. so simple to make yet so pretty Here I am making some chocolate cupcakes for the kids and I will make some whipped cream topping for icing. While the cakes are baking here, I also made some rasgullas for the dessert. There is another video where you can see the full recipe. I will keep the link in the description box. The cakes are done and cooled out. Now I am putting the icing on top. This is a vanilla flavored whipped cream icing. I wish I had some lemon flavor because the yellow color that I have added, lemon flavor would be perfect for it. But I don't have any and the vanilla flavor is safe and everybody likes. So I am going with vanilla today. On this sweet note, I will end today's vlog. Keep watching our Diwali celebration in the next vlog. Thank you for watching.